everybody. We've gotten a lot of snow here in the last couple of days. So I wanted to show you my Altai Hawk skis and how they do in this uh, pretty deep powder here. So far I really like these skis and um, we're going to test them out a little bit more. So I'm only going to use one pole so I can kind of hold the, the camera. So if you notice I'm not gliding as well, that's kind of part of it. But these are more of like a, not so much of a gliding ski. They're kind of in between, which is why they have the skins on them. So you can go uphill a little bit more easy, which I'll try and show that too. So here's a picture, or here's, here's some footage of my skis with them off. You can see that this part right here, this red part, this is that skin that I was talking about, which helps you go uphill without sliding backwards. My particular skis are the Altai Hawk 145 centimeters. Okay, so here's a little bit closer view of these universal bindings. They're almost like snowboard bindings. So they just have the little snap buckles and out you go. Okay. And for those of you that have never used this style binding before, let me see if I can do it one-handed. So you kind of just get it right in that slot there. Then you use this part to ratchet it down. And you want to get them nice and tight. And the nice thing about these is it's pretty easy to tighten on the trail. So sometimes, like you saw, you have to open up the clip a little bit to get them on. And then you just ratchet them down. And then you're good to go. And as you can see, maybe not with all that snow, but these just have a little clamping system where you can adjust the position, which it has quite a bit of movement here of where your foot is. So that's where you can, you know, have one set of skis for multiple people. Or if you have a heavier winter boot for in the middle of winter, and then maybe a slightly lighter boot for, you know, the warmer parts of the winter, these are really great for that. Um, these have all kinds of adjustments on them, so they can fit almost anybody. I have mine kind of at the smaller settings because I have really small feet, but they work really, really good. So you can see that the channel that we blew out with the snow blower is pretty deep here, and it's a lot of light, fluffy snow. So you can see, you know, it's not, it's not super heavy. So this is going to be a good test for these Altai skis. Okay, so as you can see, I've kind of already made a few uh, trails here. Let's pick some fresh snow and we'll get going. So like I said, I only have the, the one pole on right now, so I won't glide as easily as you might with two poles if you alternate your pushes with, you know, how you're skiing. But they still slide pretty well, even with the skins on. So you can see I am sinking into the snow a little bit, but it's really not bad for how much powder we have. So I'm just gonna keep on going here. We're gonna go and take a nice little view of the creek here. why these skins are so great. So I'm just gonna be able to basically walk right up this hill. 
without much slipping. Whereas with regular cross country skis, you have to walk up kind of sideways. So these may not be as fast as regular cross country skis, but they're a little bit more versatile for back country activities like you like to do. And they're a great workout. You can tell by my breathing. So as you can see, we just came up that hill, didn't slide backwards once. And these work pretty well as you can see in the light fluffy powder. Now if I was taking these out backpacking, what I would likely do is uh, carry a sled behind me. I wouldn't try and wear the pack with this much powder. Unless I was on really packed trails, which doesn't happen very often. Overall, I really like these skis. They're very versatile for me. And um, they get me just about everywhere I need to go when there's snow on the ground. Well, I hope you like the video and uh, maybe you'll get yourself a pair of skis so you can uh, get out on some winter adventures. All right, see you later.